It's really, really, really lovely to see all of you. Vision Weekend is our annual convening of Foresight's top minds on the future of nanotech, biotech, computer science, crypto commerce, and space. And usually we have it for a weekend. We can't really call it a weekend anymore. We have it this weekend in San Francisco, next weekend in the Castle in France, and in between we have it virtually. Today we're really happy to be at the Internet Archive. Thank you, Brewster, and thank you, BZ, for hosting us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What you guys will be doing is preparing a note for the technology that you guys are working on. So each of you in front of you has a slide that should look like this. Back there is about 15 petabytes of the 70 petabytes that's the primary copy of the Internet Archive blinking away. The thing that I'm in particular really interested in is solutions R&D. This area of things that are slightly too researchy to be startups, but too engineering or coordination heavy to be in academia. I think that we need to change our technology paradigms towards things that are more robust. Are we just going to be a sort of flash in the pan uh, who's going to come and then eventually have a heat death? Or are we in fact going to be able to have an enduring civilization that will uh, live forever? What you really want is to go into something like an old mouse. That thing is definitely old and you want to turn it into a young mouse or turn its cell into young cells. Last time I was here I talked about, you know, reading your mind and really we're still working on that. We decided it was more urgent to save your mind before we read your mind, although that can be done with a different software layer. So maybe in the future, those nanoscopic, tiny nano machine can do lots of meaningful work. I hope I can seek a big revolution driven by nano machine in my lifetime. You're a general trying to get your army to fight, and something that you can do as a credible commitment is uh, burn the bridge behind you so that you can't retreat, and your army is definitely going to fight. Building a, a world where we coexist cooperatively with AI, get past the risks, and benefit from the wonderful benefits that AI has to improve our lives. For image recognition, we're actually aiming for maybe human-level performance. But in biology, that's not the case. What we want is superhuman level of performance. Downstairs there is a space uh, called the lab. It's a kind of artistic spin-off that tried to merge science and art. The NFT pieces of art are open for auction. Starting now, all the money collected is used to directly fund scientific research. The future is ours to make. We actually now have a simple statistical model that gives you the distribution of aliens in space-time, and therefore our future. Will we choose to go expand and become much bigger as the cost of our joining the gods. So my particular interest is in neuroprosthetics and ultimately in whole brain emulation, this notion of mind uploading. I've been wearing a device for a while to be able to see in infrared light. You walk through a parking lot and you can tell which cars have been parked there for a while, which ones have just arrived because the engine blocks are hot. And you go into, I went to the library and there are two chairs and I could tell where somebody had been sitting. If you just think about how different even last December was to this one. Where the hell are we going to be next year? I don't know, but it's on us to decide. So thank you all for sharing this weekend with us, and it was very special.